Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box of the Technical Trader. It's Monday, December the 6th. These are the charts of the day. Uh, I've got some new ones today for you to look at. Alliance Fiber Optics, which uh, we've been moving up steadily all year. As a matter of fact, for the last two years, taking it from under three to today up to 1280. Um, a beautiful rising channel. You can see the, the move uh, accelerated with a breakout in October above this lateral price resistance. Pull back to retest that and the 50 day moving average consolidated nicely in here. Started moving up at the end of last week and today spiked up $1.74, almost 16%. 485,000 shares on this thin stock, by far the biggest volume in years, literally. Um, we're up in a resistance zone up here, but um, I believe the stock can make it about 14 before we see any further resistance. And if it continues to spike here, we could see the stock as high as 17. Ameren, AMRN, which had a significant price volume surge about a week, six days ago. And then moved into a little bit of a coil pattern, low volume today. It edged up 39 cents or 7%, 5.2 million share traded, the heaviest volume in four days. And maybe this thing is on its way to testing and perhaps taking out the high. Uh, my trading target is about the $8 range, um, perhaps even higher, but we'll see what we get and if we get a follow through at all. Adventrix uh, Pharmaceuticals, after forming a beautiful coiling type base pattern over the last six, seven months, Broke out on Friday, followed through very nicely today, got all the way up to 291. My target was up around 293, so we reached that and backed off. But I'm looking for either a, a continuation of this move or a consolidation in this range that eventually does take it up. And more significant than that, the volume today was the heaviest in about seven months and the heaviest on an update since last December, up, beginning of January, so when the stock was up around the 12 range. So um, let's set targets now uh, at the um, March low and for a test of that um, prior support which is now resistance up around four four and a quarter <clears throat> amtech systems which we've been recommending all year and, and after breaking out of this coil continue to impress has moved from about the uh, eight and a half range eight and a quarter up to 25 near, more than tripling in the last five or six months now the top of the long range channel is being challenged up here so we may see the stock at this point being a little bit of ahead of itself Although momentum is still strong, uh, we'd be uh, skeptical about adding to positions here, more likely to peel it back and wait for some kind of consolidation. But no question, momentum is strong, the stock continues higher, keep raising your stops on this one. B-square, absolutely a phenomenal move in the last um, three weeks. The stock has moved from four to nearly seven, but almost up every single day in a nice orderly fashion with good volume and great technicals. Now we've reached a level at which I, I suspected it could reach, which is near seven, seven and a quarter, and at this this may um, be a, a more more significant resistance at the 07 highs. Uh, it's beyond that, though, if it does get through it, secondary resistance up around nine nine twenty would be my secondary target on it. <clears throat> silver stocks and precious metals in general, absolutely doing fantastic of late, particularly silver, which is which hit thirty dollars an ounce today and has done. Much better than gold in terms of percentage gains. You can see silver, Endeavor Silver, EXK, which has moved from the August lows around 3 up to over 7 today, 7.30 being the high. That move took out the early November high, which, which was um, uh, reached with a major reversal day. So the stock has done well to hold support, consolidate, and then move up sharply here. We could see this thing spike up towards the 9 level, my short-term trading target. Easy Chip Semiconductor, very uh, solid member of a very solid group. The semiconductors group since the uh, August, September lows have done very well indeed. And you can see this one has moved um, just recently breaking out above a 90 day consolidation on heavy volume. My target's 32 on it. Uh, and today was up another 98 cents to 2881. We'll, uh, we'll uh, have to monitor that one closely. Hecla, HL, another silver stock similar to Endeavor, similar pattern as well. Broke out yesterday and continued moving today up another 51 cents. Stock crossed 11 for the first time in several years, and my target on it is about the 13 range, and beyond that around 16, 17. International Game Technology broke out of a, a nice six-month basing pattern um, and uh, reversed Friday. It spiked up today another 78 cents, nearly 5%. 9.2 million share traded, the biggest volume on an up day um, for, since April. So a significant day. And also a, with a target around the 18 and a quarter range, uh, just ahead, we expect to reach that shortly. 
secondary target up around uh, 20. King Tone Wireless, K-O-N-E, had a big pop in October, consolidated beautifully th from mid-October to the end of September, exploded on volume, backed off and retested the breakout point, and has been moving steadily higher here. A move across five in the next day or so could get this up towards the sixth level pretty, pretty quickly short term, and that's my trading target on it. L&L Energy, a stock we've liked for quite a while, finally came of age and broke out of its head and shoulders bottom early on no November, but pulled right back to the breakout point and to the declining tops line, which was broken, consolidated nicely on low volume, and then exploded. And over the last five days in a row, the stock's gone from about nine and three quarters up to 13 and a half, a 50% move just this, in the last five days or so on heavy volume with a strong surge in technical. So this one may very well get up towards that 14 and a half, three quarter range up near the April high before it shows any significant pullback, but it is overbought here short term and way far above the 50 day moving average, which is down around the 910 range. Magic Software, MGIC, which had a tremendous run in November, backed off the uh, beginning of this month and then today popped back 51 cents as volume picked up and the stock gained about 8%. If it can get through the Recent highs, we expect the stock could make it to around the eight and a quarter, quarter eight and a half range, and maybe ten on the secondary level. Another example of a strong gold and uh, silver stock is Nev Sun Resources, which has moved steadily higher from the dollar uh, uh, ninety area or so to just under seven today, up another thirty six cents or five and a half percent. Volume is the heaviest we've seen in about a month, and with the top of the in a very very orderly rise here, the top of the channel it looks looms near, but the long-term channel, uh, the way I've drawn it in, uh, indicates that this stock could be more than a double over the course of the next few weeks. Nova Measuring Instruments, a current uh, swing trade of ours, doing well. As you can see, it's popped, pulled back, and has, and has moved from 7 to over 8 today. Now, 8 was my short-term target with a secondary target up around 9. I think we can get that if we can pull it, get it through the 8, 10, 15 zone. Another strong metal stock, it, uh, Pan American Silver, after forming a nice little ascending wedge, it broke out in the last six days in a row. The stock has been up. Very impressive move. Um, and not getting too far ahead of itself. There is a, a, a level of resistance up around 43, which I expect it to reach short term. That's our target. Polypore International, big gainer of the day, gapped up to 36.91 and ran to 42.95 before backing off a little bit, closing at 42 of 5.88. Big day for that stock on heavy volume, and it accelerated across the top of its channel as well. This one could uh, accelerate and move up a little bit further into the high 40s, maybe 50 plus. PSDV, that's uh, Savita Corp. Um, today had a significant surge in that the falling wedge that it's been in uh, was broken as the stock broke back above its moving averages and came right up against resistance only to back off. A little bit at the close, but if it should get through that 608 uh, 10 zone, which was resistance back in here, I expect this stock could make it to my short term trading target around seven. Big day for the rare earth companies. MCP was a, a big winner today, but rare earth and uh, rare elements, R E E, which despite the big run up from a buck and a quarter up to 14 range. Backed off and it formed a nice little bull coil here without breaking support in the $9 range. Um, today it popped from $9.50 to $11.48, 5.8 million shares, the heaviest volume since uh, in about six weeks traded. Could be a significant breakout, and I'm looking for a test, a retest of the 13 and a half, three quarters on maybe as high as 14, but we'll see if he gets across that whether the stock can move into the mid teens or not. Another stock in that group is China Shenzhou Mining which popped sharply in October, pulled back, formed a beautiful little um, coil or wedge pattern, and uh, Friday made a move, and today followed through nicely up another 70 cents, or 22.7%. You can see technicals and unbalanced volume surging sharply higher, as, as is volume. I expect a test of the highs around 4.5. If that's taken out, look for 5.5, 6, maybe as high as 7 on the stock. Silver wheat and another strong metal stock took out Recent highs and um, has been accelerating up another dollar fifty four today, crossing forty for the first time in, in many years, if not ever. Yep, that's an all time high, um, and uh, it looks to me like we could reach the mid forties before we get too much of a pullback. But the stock is getting a little bit ahead of itself as the fifty day moving average and price support is down around thirty thirty one, long way from there. 
And lastly today, excuse me, not lastly, but uh, another stock is Synergistics, S-U-R-G, which had a significant price volume surge today. Notice the last six weeks, the stock has been very narrowly coiling and quiet in here, and then today exploded on 691,000 shares up 17.5%. Closing right at a significant resistance level. My next target is just around five. I believe we get there. Travel Zoo, um, which has been sitting here in a beautiful form, a little beautiful little four-day flag. I expected to break out and run and maybe get into the low 50s, but initial target around 48. Another junior gold that looks awesome is UX, UXG. Let's see that long-term rising channel. Calls for a move up to near $9. That's our trading target, um, although the stock's a bit ahead of itself here uh, and way above the moving average by at least a couple points. The stock could back off and consolidate, but it may very well get to the eight and three quarters, nine zone before it does that. Western Refining is a stock that we picked here in October when it broke out, then formed a beautiful coil and then started to move. It's been moving steadily higher. It crossed $10 today for the first time um, since about a year, year and a half. There's a significant overhead resistance up around 16 that and the one beneath that around 14 that are our trading targets going forward on uh, Western refining. Beautiful chart. The next target, let me re rephrase 12 and three quarters and then 16. Warren Resources, a current swing trade, popped, coiled, formed a little bit of a, uh, a wedge here, and then today broke out, running up to 45 before backing off to 470, but still with the volume the heaviest in a week and a half and technical surging. I expect this stock makes it to five and a half, three quarters. And lastly today, WTI, that's WNT Offshore, which we also spotted in early November. This thing is accelerated, coiling, and then running again, taking out my uh, price target and key resistance, that, which could lead to more, uh, more higher levels. Uh, we'll set a target around 24 for WNT Offshore. And that's it for today. A lot of good ideas out still there, still out there, despite the fact that the market's a little sloppy in here, although the market could move lower. Some of these stocks have such strong momentum. I suspect that uh, they may continue higher, but remember one thing. A lot of these stocks are extended, playing with reasonable stops, if not tight stops, and uh, be prepared to take some uh, quick exits when these stocks turn down. Okay? Good night.